The Owen James Report is brought to you by Grace Kennedy. This program is brought to you by the Grace Kennedy Group. We choose to care. Grace Kennedy Money Services has been here for you and your family. Here and abroad. Because we understand that you're receiving more than money. You're receiving their love. Grace Kennedy Financial Group has been here for you because we know it's more than just investments, insurance, or banking. It's about security and creating a path to realizing your dreams. For 90 years, honesty, integrity, and trust. The Grace Kennedy Group, we choose to care. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Hit by a 19.5% fall in nine-month revenue, Supreme Ventures today announced a consolidation of its operations, thus rendering 20 positions redundant. In a statement confirming this today, Supreme Ventures President Brian George says SVL will close operations at Odyssey Gaming Lounge at Marketplace in Kingston and Castle Gaming Lounge in Portmore, St. Catherine. However, he says the lottery and sports betting unit at Castle Gaming will remain open for normal business. George says SVL will focus its energies on the Acropolis Barbican in Kingston, primarily boosting the video terminal offerings on the gaming floor. On the foreign exchange market, the benchmark American dollar held firm at $113.58 Jamaican. However, both the Canadian dollar and the British pound weakened against the local currency. The Canadian dollar declined by 4 Jamaican cents, closing at an average selling rate of $99.62, while the sterling weakened by 34 cents Jamaican to close at $177.84. The licensed financial companies bought a total of 36.6 million US dollars and sold 35.7 million. The president of the Inter-American Development Bank, Louis Alberto Moreno, is scheduled to visit Jamaica on December 18. The visit coincides with the IDB's 45th year of partnership with Jamaica and comes at a time when as a key multilateral partner with the island, it has committed 510 million US dollars towards Jamaica's IMF-backed economic program. Senor Moreno will have talks with Jamaica's Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips and Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller. News on the Jamaican stock market now, where gains by Lime and Scotia Group mainly triggered advances in the indices today. The main JC index advanced by 213 points, or three-tenths of one percent. Twenty-two stocks traded with seven advancing, seven declining, and eight holding firm. The winners included Carreras, Lime, Mayberry, NCB, Panjam Investment Trust, and Scotia Group Jamaica. The losers included Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Broilers, Jamaica Stock Exchange, Proven Investments, The Day's Big Loser down 3.8%, and Sajikor Group Jamaica. On the commodities market, oil prices rebounded in both Europe and the U.S. today. U.S. crude oil gained $2.85 or 4.3%, closing at $69 a barrel. Over in Europe, benchmark Brent Blend, which had fallen by $3 in the morning session, closed up over $72 a barrel. On the agricultural commodities market, cocoa prices continued to rise, and today, cocoa was up by almost 2%. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Grace Kennedy. This program was brought to you by the Grace Kennedy Group. We choose to care.